you can literally see it falling off. So I've cleansed my face, I've done my normal face wash routine up until the toner. I've not put anything on that's moisturising or any serums or anything like that. So let's have a look at what I ordered off Amazon. It came yesterday and I will just try this. Let me take that off. Oh, they're pretty colours. So here we've got six blades. I've never done this before. This is my first time. I watched a YouTube video just before now. So I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing. They sell kits to do this at home. So in my eyes, it's got to be safe to a certain extent. To make it go easier, I'm using the number seven youthful replenishing facial oil. I'm literally gonna put two drops into my hands and apply this to my face and this is just going to help the blade glide. You know like when you like shave your legs and you use like shaving cream or conditioner or just something. I imagine this is like what this is for to stop it catching sort of thing. I know the V home kits I'm pretty sure they come with like an oil substance so this is why we're using this. Before we start, Derma Planning is supposed to help your makeup go on smoother, give you glowing skin and help your products get in that bit deeper. It's also good for removing hair and a really good exfoliation. These are the main reasons why I'm doing it, so we're going to give it a go. I've taken before pictures of my skin and I'm also going to take after pictures and then once I've done this, I'm going to put my makeup on and we can, I'll come back and tell you guys like if it went on better or anything like that. I will link everything down in the description and I'll link the blades that I got and the oil I've used. So what I've kind of learnt from watching videos and watching the lady do it properly is that you pull the skin tight and we move downwards slowly. I'm not going to go crazy because I don't 100% know what I'm doing. This is a bit of a trial sort of thing. I'm going to start with my forehead and then work to my cheeks and then my chin and then my neck. So let's do this. I've also got some tissue here and I'm going to be putting anything that comes off on here and I'll show you it at the end. Oh, there's stuff on it. It's coming off. Let me see if you can focus on that. Look at that. And just see bits fall in front of my eyes. One thing I saw was not to go over any active acne, so I'm just going to be avoiding any spots that I've got. Gosh, I feel like I'm so hairy. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with my forehead now. I'm going to move on to my cheeks. You can literally see it falling off. So I'm pretty happy with what I've done. I'm just going to show you my tissue so you can see what's on it. I have taken a picture just in case it doesn't show up on camera. I am pretty happy with how it's looking. I'm going to take a picture for my after picture before I cleanse and put anything on my skin. Then I'm going to be going to do my makeup and I'll be right back to show you guys how my makeup looks on 
and the results. I am just going to zoom the camera in so you can take a look at my skin. One thing as well is I got told your skin might go red afterwards. I feel like though my skin is pretty, even though it can be sensitive sometimes, it is very unsensitive in ways like it never goes red really unless it's really upset. So I'm just going to show you. So I've just got my makeup on, it went on really nice, I feel like my skin looks really smooth where my foundation is, I feel like it's not sitting clumpy, I think it'll be interesting to see how my makeup lasts throughout the day compared to normal, I am just going to zoom you in, I've literally put a really nice lightweight foundation on, a little bit of bronzer and highlighter and a concealer, nothing crazy heavy because I don't like a heavy base anyway, but I'm just going to zoom you in so you can have a look. My advice, if you're going to try this yourself at home, make sure you use an oil or something on the skin to help the blade glide. I felt like the blade definitely feels like it's sticking sometimes, so the oil definitely helped. Make sure your face is clean, make sure everything is clean. I'm definitely going to keep this up and try to do it every four weeks, I think. And also, my advice is go slow, don't rush. If you don't feel comfortable doing something, don't do it. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said earlier, I will be leaving all the links in the description to the things I bought. Literally, I think for these six blades, it was £3.50 or something like that. It was super cheap. I just wanted something cheap to try and it worked great. So I'll probably definitely rebuy these when I run out. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this where I test out things, then let me know and I will see you all again very, very soon.